Hello students, in this today's lecture we will start unit 6 uniform plane waves and in that we have to study Maxwell's equations in a phasor form. So we will start. So these are the content of the chapters Maxwell's equations using phasor notations, then electromagnetic wave equations, Helmholtz equation, relation between E and H, depth of penetration, concept of polarization, reflection by perfect conductor on normal incidence and reflection by perfect dielectric on normal incidence and Snell's law. These are the contents of the chapter and in this today's lecture we will start with Maxwell's equations using phasor notations. Okay, so we will start the derivation that is uh, we have studied Maxwell's equation uh, in time varying field also. Here, these Maxwell's equations in phasor form are also known as a Maxwell's equation for harmonically varying field. In this case, both electric and magnetic fields are harmonically varying with time. Thus, electric flux density and magnetic flux density are given by d bar is equal to d bar into e raised to j omega t and b bar is represented by b bar into e raised to j omega t. Okay give equation number 1 and 2 then taking partial derivative of equation 1 and 2 so ye jo equation 1 and 2 hai take the partial derivative so first equation le lo uska partial derivative uh, dab by d bar by dab by t is equal to ye j omega j omega d bar e raised to j omega t e raised to j omega t ka e raised to j omega t okay then next uh, we will get uh, d, bar, d bar by d bar t so observe this term carefully d0 uh, or d bar e raised to j omega t is equal to kya hai? d bar so put that value in this equation and we will get d bar d bar by d bar t is equal to j omega d bar e equation number 3 then also take partial derivative of this equation that is b bar is equal to b bar e raised to j omega t therefore d bar b by d bar t is equal to j omega b bar okay uh, means partial derivative again ke baad j omega b bar e raised to j omega t but this term b bar e raised to j omega t is denoted by b bar so again we have to put that value therefore d bar b by d bar t is equal to j omega b bar give equation number 4 so, ये दोनों equations लिखने हैं और only partial derivative लेना है. तो method is easy. Then next, phasor equation in point form. So, in point form, Maxwell's first equation remains same in phasor equations. That is, uh, we know that del dot d is equal to rho v. That is, a divergence of electric flux density is equal to volume charge density. Okay. Then, del dot b is equal to zero. That is a divergence of magnetic flux density is equal to kya hai? zero. But equation third from time varying field we have del cross E bar is equal to minus of dabba B by dabba T. So here dabba B by dabba T term is coming and previously we have uh, taken partial derivatives and uh, we get one value that is dabba B by dabba T is equal to kya aya tha? J omega B. So only put we have to put the value of J omega B here. But uh, before putting that value, observe here, del cross E bar is equal to minus of J omega B bar. This value is here fill up. Kiya hai. But we know that relation between B and H, that is B bar is equal to mu H bar. So put that value in this equation. So equation kya ban jayega? Del cross E bar is equal to minus of J omega mu H bar. So observe on next slide. This is a del cross E bar is equal to minus of J omega mu H bar. So this is equation third. Then del cross H, this is Maxwell's fourth, fourth equation. That is a del cross H is equal to J bar plus dab bar D by dab bar T. So you observe this equation here dab bar D by dab bar T term comes. And in the first slide we have mentioned what is the value of dab bar D by dab bar T is equal to J omega D bar. So put that value in this equation. Therefore we will get del cross h or curl of magnetic field intensity is equal to j bar or j plus j omega d bar but the current density j bar is equal to sigma e bar and electric flux density d bar is equal to epsilon e bar 
where sigma is a conductivity of medium and uh, epsilon is a permittivity of a medium. Therefore, del cross H bar is equal to sigma E bar plus J omega epsilon E bar. That is uh, here directly fill up the value of D bar that is epsilon E bar here. So we will get this equation. Therefore, del cross H bar is equal to sigma plus J omega epsilon E bar. Only we have taken a common that is E bar and in bracket we will get this term. Okay. So next. So in point form phasor equations we have mentioned. Now in integral form uh, we will derive these equations. So as previously uh, Maxwell's equations for steady electric and magnetic field. Uh, we have converted uh, equations into integral form and uh, we have applied divergence theorem to first two equations and Stokes theorem to the next two equations. So first apply divergence theorem to Maxwell's first two equations. So first equation kya tha? Del dot D is equal to rho V dV. Therefore if we integrate uh, that equation with surface integral and apply divergence theorem we will get this equation that is close integral of d bar ds bar is equal to phi rho v dv and next equation is a bds is equal to or del dot b is equal to kya hai? 0 therefore integrate both side with surface integral we will get this equation close integral of b bar ds bar is equal to 0 now integrating maxwell's third equation that is a surface integral of del cross e ds is equal to surface integral of j omega mu h ds okay so apply here stokes theorem that is uh, we have close the line integral e dl is equal to s del cross e ds okay mm, so apply here stokes theorem and we will get this equation it remains same then close integral e dl is equal to j omega mu ye j omega mu bahar nikalo into bracket h ds okay ye h ds Therefore, close integral of del cross H ds is equal to sigma plus j omega epsilon e bar. And uh, therefore, close integral of H dl here apply Stokes theorem x uh, means sigma plus j omega epsilon surface integral e ds. Integrating Maxwell's fourth equation, we have close integral H dl is equal to surface integral sigma e bar ds that is this sigma e bar ds plus a surface integral j omega epsilon e ds so here in this equation uh, observe here we have taken sigma outside that is a we will get surface integral of e ds plus j omega epsilon uh, into surface integral of e ds okay so close integral of h dl is equal to sigma plus j omega epsilon e this sigma and this sigma j omega plus j omega epsilon is added and a common term is a surface integral of e d s okay so this is a maxwell's fourth equation in integral form so as we, we have mentioned uh, these equations are in a uh, phasor form and also called as a maxwell's equation for the harmonically varying field so procedure is uh, easy but you have to practice and uh, then and then you can recall these equations, phasor equations in uh, exam. Okay. Thank you.